so now uh, we have finished uh, the last video about importing the impeller and creating the uh, mesh using table so now uh, we uh, shall show uh, the uh, volute how to import it and how to uh, make uh, the um, uh, mesh for it. okay so uh, from our last uh, previous uh, uh, explanation we deleted the volute so uh, we uh, want the volute back so uh, we open the previous file no okay so uh, we now have the uh, impeller and the loot so uh, this is very important uh, you have uh, to uh, choose this is a uh, program set is set to default but as you can see uh, the flow domain is is not made so if you import it you will have just a hollow uh, volute but we are creating the flow domain so uh, this all should be uh, filled with the flow okay so it's important to choose flow domain solid as you can see here and for uh, the impeller it's important also that you should uh, choose solid trimming okay So uh, for this file, we are going to export it to an IGS file for project export IGS. Make sure that uh, the impeller and the volute are all uh, both are checked. Agree. You can hear a base file name, set parameters. For uh, this, we uh, set it to uh, flow domain. Okay. Uh, and we here uh, check uh, export data uh, we, I have already checked it so you won't see this method ok override close uh, now opening uh, solidworks choose here open this is the file that we uh, have just exported GIGS ok Uh, no uh, so as you can see here uh, we just have two bodies this is the impeller part and this is the uh, outer volume part so uh, we have to uh, delete the impeller as we have already made uh, the uh, mesh for it so delete impeller uh, so we uh, have only the flute here we will uh, save it as a okay let's rename it volute we will save it as IGS okay exit uh, so uh, here um, we choose a uh, mesh we will now import the uh, volute port file import so uh, this is the file Uh, so uh, here we can add material and we click uh, in the right okay so you can see here is our uh, float and its dimensions also is correct uh, so um, as we uh, said uh, by default is set to uh, the program by a uh, solid so uh, okay we change the name to load and uh, this is very important uh, you choose it to be float not solid okay uh, I think uh, 
we can um, uh, rename uh, this uh, value or okay uh, we will rename it at the mesh okay clicking generate so entering the mesh So uh, for uh, the mesh, uh, it's important you use uh, that for CFD using CFX. So uh, I think you can change it to uh, coarse, medium, or fine, depending on your ac accuracy of uh, solving. Uh, and also, uh, I won't uh, go uh, very uh, much in the mesh because it's upon your study and upon the uh, accuracy of result uh, you are uh, expecting so we were uh, set here uh, to a uh, low defined mesh So uh, as you see, it's, it's not very good measure at all. But this is uh, for explanation only. Uh, if you want to improve your mesh, you can choose a course. You can change it to fine, and uh, you can add inflation. Uh, you can choose a program controlled inflation. Uh, you can change this value to have a good inflation. Uh, so. Uh, for now, I uh, will uh, change the outlet. I will have it. Uh, let's rename it to outlet volute, and uh, for uh, this uh, port, uh, this is the volute inlet, which is uh, the interface between the impeller and the volute. So we will uh, rename it to load inlet or you can rename it to uh, load uh, impeller interface okay so we have created two uh, sec uh, two uh, boundaries okay clicking on generate mesh Here you can see uh, the inflation is uh, made on the outlet and on the, uh, the what we have called the inlet of the load. Uh, as you uh, rename a boundary, so he knows that's important and he will uh, maximize the mesh on it. Okay, so uh, we click his save. Okay. You can always uh, check the statics of the uh, mesh here and uh, for uh, most common uh, we check uh, element quantity uh, with the minimum and maximum standard deviation. You can always uh, uh, check the aspect ratio or the skewness which is very important. 
so uh, we have an average QNOS here of 0.26 which is not very good but this is just for explanation uh, so in your study you should go further in uh, in mesh and improving it okay close this this is uh, for the third word we should close it also so um, uh, I will stop here and the uh, next video we will explain how to uh, make the setup uh, for the impeller and the loot.